So alright friends, after my comedy video, it's now back to the serious stuff. Well, who would have guessed it? Bonkers Boris, vote leaves blonde bombshell, or bomb something, is back in the news again as he's being taken to court by a Remain businessman of all people. Marcus Ball, a businessman from Norfolk, has succeeded in getting Westminster Magistrates Court to hear a case against the former Mayor of London into allegations that he was led the public about £350 million per week going to the European Union. A Remainers have been celebrating their newfound hero. Oh, Marcus Ball, you brave, brave man, my hero, swoon, fawn, you are a hero, you will stop Brexit. Oh, please take me roughly from behind. And that was just the phallus. A word of warning to Ramonas. You are currently on a real bad run of luck, aren't you? Brexit is still happening. Look at what happened with the Brexit party in the European elections. Almost nationally, apart from a few places, the Brexit party won outright. This court case is not going to change a thing. Politicians lie. It's a rule of the game. To get further on in the great game of politics, MPs will often take bribes and will lie and mislead the house. It's been done since time immemorial. An MP is to who is totally honest is rarer than rocking horse poo. Nigel Farage has told lies. Jacob rees mogg has told lies. Jeremy Corbyn, Theresa May, Vincent Cable and even Pet the Elder have all told lies. Big deal. Get over yourselves. Feigning false morality has become a trait to the left. Appear to tugging at heartstrings when they have run out of facts and argument. Now Marcus Ball may have inadvertently opened the floodgates here. If we're going to put Boris Johnson under the microscope, then surely every MP serving and former will now face scrutiny to what they have said and done. After all, aquium idicium sit omnibus is required. And you can Google that if you are interested. Now, will we see former Pont de Prix MP Kim House taking the court over his crime of destruction of uh, national cobalt records around the time of the miners' strike of 1984? Will we see Tony Blair in court over his nefarious crimes in office? Will Gordon Brown be prosecuted over the Holly Gregg affair? Indeed, it's Marcus himself from Stanley sits there with a blemish on his record. I mean, he's using crowdfunding money to do this. How do you know that this is all legitimate and he's not going to disappear in the summer after Barbados and never be heard of again? You know that the internet can and will find out anything about anybody. Super sleuths are probably already on the case, R.E. Marcus Ball. Just in case he once me too somebody, or snorted cocaine in public maybe. No, I'm not hinting anything there. Or am I? Ultimately, whatever these remainers do, they're just sad, spoiled, tantrum-throwing toddlers. I call them violent Elizabeths. They will scream and scream and scream and scream until they're sick. Or else everybody kowtows. They're in full-blown panic mode and they're going to use every dirty trick under the sun. The only issue for them is that whatever plan they put into action, it never comes off and only comes back to bite them on the backside. You know, look at me too. You know, men are not going to be working with uh, women now, are they? Hmm. I can see this court case becoming a, a non-event in the near future. It'll be dropped or cancelled as Boris has probably have a few connections somewhere. He's Teflon at the end of the day. And this whole saga might only increase his popularity and uh, gain support on his march towards number 10. Another monumental defeat is in the offing. Charlie, France.